Well, good afternoon. I'm Les Hall, the Dean of the USC School of Medicine at Columbia, and it is my distinct pleasure to welcome each of you to the University of South Carolina School of Medicine graduate hooding and recognition ceremony. I think every class is special, but the class of 2021 is incredibly special because I think of all that they had to do to get here. My name is Carrie Lachance and I am the Graduate Program Director of the Rehabilitation Counseling Program. They've been through COVID, they've been through all kinds of different social things that have been happening in our world, and they have really risen to the occasion, they've supported each other. Um, they pulled their resources, and I've just been really impressed with the, the, the graduating class and all the students as they work to this day. I'm Janice Edwards, and I'm the director of the Genetic Counseling Master's Program. Do you know, this is my 40th year at the University of South Carolina Columbia School of Medicine, and that in and of itself is just absolutely remarkable, special, a celebration in and of itself, but it speaks to the wonderful people that are here. I've had such wonderful colleagues that have helped me along the way as a professor and have helped our training program along the way. So everybody in the School of Medicine, faculty, staff, students, and the leadership especially is a real true family to me. I'm Gregory Mangione. I'm the program director of the U of SC School of Medicine Physician Assistant Program. After the last year and a half, it was awesome to be here today and see people in person and uh, to have everybody there to celebrate. It occurred to me this is the largest gathering I've been at in the last 14 months. And, but to see people's faces, to see them face to face, to maybe bump an elbow or two, even though we have our masks and we're staying distant, there's just something about getting together that makes the, the event so special, so meaningful, um, and it's just wonderful to see folks today, see their families, see how you know, proud they are of their graduates and the whole experience. It's wonderful. My name is Kevin LeBlanc. I am the program director for the Masters of Nurse Anesthesia program. My name is Edie Goldsmith. I am a professor in the Department of Cell Biology and Anatomy, and I am the director of the Biomedical Sciences graduate program at the USC School of Medicine. The class of 2021 has faced challenges that none of our other classes have faced. They're adapting to going to online classes and missing clinical experiences for most of the spring of 2020. It affected their didactic phase, their clinical phase. They missed out on their white coat ceremony. They have been through more than any other class in our programs. The disruption to the learning environment had you know, caused a lot of people you know, stress. They were worried about, how's this gonna impact my program? When am I gonna graduate? and but they've risen above all that they adapted well worked well with us and without them being so flexible we would not be where we are today a number of the faculty sitting in this auditorium i'm surprised they're still here because i graduated a long time ago they taught me not only the art and science of medicine but the humility and the humanity of being a physician I'm always grateful for that. Being present during a COVID ceremony is amazing. We didn't think it was going to happen, and it's really nice to be around all my classmates. It's pretty great. Um, it's like a great culmination to the end of four years. I feel like when we had our virtual graduation yesterday, it wasn't quite the same, just sitting in front of your computer, but being in the actual setting felt like a real accomplishment and like something that we had done. Uh, my parents were able to come down from New Jersey, so that was really good. Yeah, my, we live here, my wife and I, and my parents came down from Georgia as well. It was great to have my, my family next to me. I know they really appreciated being here and being able to celebrate with us, so I couldn't have asked for anything more. Yeah. 
The past year for me as a student has been kind of crazy with COVID and trying to do my rotations virtually. My family has been super supportive of the whole thing, but keeping in mind all the COVID cautious things with me being in the hospital setting while them being quarantined and trying to be safe. It's all worked out for the best though. I would say in the beginning it was very difficult because of the uncertainties uh, that lied ahead with COVID and everything. Um, and especially for us, we got married in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, so that even looked different as well. But uh, honestly, it, it really just made, it really reminded me of how much family matters, how much friendships matter, the people in your life that you hold dear matter. Um, a lot of people lost a lot of loved ones and I can't imagine just being in the situation uh, in this past year. So this honestly made me very grateful. I think the best way for this class to be remembered is the fact that we have been a family no matter what from the day one when we were in orientation until now we've always been very close and we've done anything to support each other and I think we've just made a culture in school of medicine that is of a supportive one. I think I want our class to be remembered as a resilient class. I think our class especially, we saw a lot of changes in medicine as even outside of the pandemic with step one going pass fail then plus the pandemic and online and virtual interviews and away rotations, I think more than anything else, our class has been resilient. And I have seen how you have responded to these challenges. You stayed true to your own course of study and completed your degree despite all of the disruptions of the last 14 months. We're honestly, it sounds crazy to say it and very cliche, but we're like a family. Like we came in on day one and we were willing to help each other. If we find like a shortcut or a great mnemonic, we put it in our class group me. Everyone knew, we shared information, we were very close with each other. We would do class parties, like cookout, Thanksgiving, things like that. So we were very close to each other and I, it's going to be rough to leave some of these people who have basically become like my family over the last four years. I think one of the things that has been important for us as a group the whole time has been sort of being together and trying to have great bonding experiences so that we're not just slugging through uh, courses and clerkships. Take the time to intentionally, intermittently check on these friends and these colleagues that you've made. Lean on them when you need support. Just the environment. It's not one of those, a lot of med schools are very kind of cutthroat and very competitive and we are all very competitive humans because we're in med school it just goes along with kind of the idea but at the same time we want each other to succeed so it's not like we want success at the expense of anyone else so we're very good at working together and trying to learn as much as we can from each other so it's just the culture of the school that makes us like a family I may be biased and so what, but this is, I think is the best class that's come through. Um, just the amount of people that, they, that, that care for each other, um, that want to help each other, um, see each other succeed. Um, and I mean, not only these are our friends and uh, colleagues, but these will be people that we have for the rest of our life. I just want you to know that we're extremely proud of you for all you've been through and you fought through and graduated today. And also, everybody that made this uh, hooding ceremony possible today, especially Amber White, Samantha White, and all the administrative staff, uh, we just we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you all. So my family's from the Northeast, kind of in between New York and Philadelphia. So uh, it's been pretty hectic and crazy up there from a pandemic standpoint for them. Um, I think they've been surviving pretty well, um, and I definitely know that they were excited to be able to get out of the house. I have a charge for this class of 2021, and that's to keep what you've all done this past four years. Keep, what's made, keep what has made y'all so great and want to be around each other. Continue to strive to be there for that patient at 3 in the morning on a 24-hour call. Continue to express that passion to be inquisitive and innovative and to not accept the status quo, to go beyond and, um, and more for your patients. Be that family member of your patients. Invite them into your life. Welcome them in as you would your own family. 
I believe we can continue to implement these things in our daily practice along with the excellent training that we've received here at the School of Medicine. This class will go far and this class will do very big things. I don't want to take any more time, but I just want to send out another congratulations to everyone here. I just want to thank all the family and friends, faculty, um, professors, everybody involved. Just thank you for making this day so special for us. I'm truly, truly blessed to know every single one of you in my class.